Hello, everybody. Oop. Um, this is my first renovation video. We're going to work on the propane system today. And um, it's a beautiful day in Connecticut. Finally, three weeks of rain, and we finally have a little sun. So I'm going to do my best to keep this thing flowing so you can see. But uh, what we have here, I just taped this up so it was holding up. Um, this was, um, I, don't know, it's a, I doubt it's the original regulator, but um, it's pretty chewed up. Um, the hoses are stiff. Um, obviously, uh, very old connectors. Brass, though, which is cool. Um, but they're pretty stiff. The pipes are pretty stiff. So I'm going to replay or remove this whole um, piece. And to do that, hopefully I have the right size fittings here. coming off easy. This winter I bought two new propane tanks. The camper didn't come with propane tanks. And uh, that's how easy it is to remove an old regulator. So this is a two-stage regulator with the vent in the bottom. Uh, the new one is the same. Uh, two stage has a cut over from one tank to the other. Um, this is a um, vertical two stage so that the vents on the bottom it's meant to mount vertically. And um, something I found out, and maybe a lot of people know, but um, the idea of a pressure regulator is to uh, regulate the pressure. Um, out of the tank itself, it's about a hundred psi. That's how it's filled up under pressure from the big tanks. But what the camper needs and the, the stove or whatever is like half of one PSI. So this regulator just knocks down the pressure so that it trickles into your uh, unit, whether it's a gas grill or whatever it is. So this one is going to the dump. All right. So now I'm going to have to mount this and then I have the tank, so I'm going to have to figure out how to... Um, position all of this. Um, uh oh, it's gonna fit. Oh, I got a female and female, and on that thing looks like a, a male and male. So I'm gonna have to unplug that fitting to get these two pieces to fit together. So let me uh, find the right tools for that, work on that, and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Okay, welcome back. I um, removed the brass um, connector from the, the old uh, regulator and I attached it to the bottom of uh, the new one. And now I'm in a position to uh, place that new one on. It's going to face backward there and uh, going to connect, connect the main um, line to the camper. I did put a little Teflon tape on the top of the of the connector. I did see that on the old one and since the camper has not blown up yet I said all right maybe a little Teflon. I looked at a lot of YouTube videos along the way to say to, to see if people did use Teflon or not when hooking up these things. I couldn't find a definitive answer so I'm sure there's somebody out there that has a definitive answer but uh, I'm gonna give it a go the way it is just tightening that to a, a snug point and now there we go so that's that's actually good and snug I was hoping for that so I also have new hoses here but right now I'm really trying to figure out what's the height of this thing and how is that gonna come down oh my wife's coming okay so we're back. I um, did work out the, the spacing of the, the thread rod to make sure that this is going to hold down secure. So um, we have a washer and a lock nut here and I purchased 
a wing nut at the store um, versus just buying a, they usually have these big, big wing nuts, but this one will work just fine. So I'm going to thread this on. It'll be difficult. I did wire brush the threads earlier to make it a little easier. But there we go. So we'll be able to secure that on. I don't have a crescent wrench with me, but I'll tighten that on later. And this should hold the tanks nice and secure. And the regulator is where it needs to be. So it looks good. Yeah, that's going to be nice and secure. So I'll tighten that a little bit more afterwards. So at this point, I think we're ready for the two extra nuts I bought. Um, I think we can ha hook up the hoses. So I have some new hoses I bought. Um, these have the, the friendly big nozzles up here. And these should thread in to the side of the regulator. Um, do be careful when you're, when you're purchasing the, um, the hoses to make sure that it's the right hose fitting for the regulator. Right, I think there are a couple different sizes. So, um, I'm gonna start to put this one in. Am I a rookie at this or what? And it was the one that dropped, was the one I needed. So I got that. I did not put Teflon tape on that. Just tight enough. It's all nice brass fittings. And now I can just thread this piece on. Just like a gas grill. Actually, it looks really nice too. I'll show you those fittings afterwards. I'm going to do the other side as well. I'll tell you, it looks really good though. It's all, all new and fresh. I was thinking about how I'm going to test this. I know a lot of people use soapy water. I'm thinking about just lighting a match and letting it rip. Hey, now I forgot which one was full. <laughs> anyway, so there's an on-off valve here, so I'm gonna switch it to one side. I believe that was the full side there. So that is now pointed towards the full side. So it should be hooked up at this point. So I'm gonna take a break here and um, turn on the valves and see if I can't uh, test it out. Okay, here we are with the final segment of this propane setup. Um, everything got installed well. Um, you can see down here, the tank on the right has a red indicator. Um, that is the empty one. So I switched the um, valve over, this little switch here, to the tank on the left and um, turned that on. Um, the hoses came out really nice. I like how that looks. All the new brass fittings, those are 12 inch uh, hoses. Uh, pretty inexpensive, probably uh, 10 bucks a piece, I think, or 10 bucks for two of them. Uh, the tanks I bought um, this winter and I sanded them and refinished them. So um, I think that's looking pretty good. So let's go inside and see if we can blow this thing up. 
So I want to try the stove and the um, the propane light up in the front. So um, got my lighter here, and down the fridge here it says rear and front. So I'm going to turn on the rear. There it is. Actually, I think I hear. Oh my God, that was perfect. That was easy. Let's try the front. Beautiful. Okay, um, that's the oven on the right. So here's another rear. And you can hit feel. Whoa, that was easy. That was easy. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna turn it off. Well, you can feel the heat coming off. I think I'm gonna have a percolated cup of coffee tomorrow. All right, so here we go. Let's try this. I'm gonna do this one handed, I think. I don't know, let's see. So this has a little clip on it and you just pull the clip together and take off the globe. Sorry for the video. All right, so the globe is coming off. Now I have to uh, install the mantle. Uh, unfortunately, these mantles turn to ash once you light them up. And, and here's the mantle down here, a new one, and they have like a little wire clip on it. So it took about 10 seconds of figuring to say, you know, you pull this clip in and that'll widen the gap. So let's see if this works. Uh oh, that looks bigger. Mm. Okay, so my mantle clip is this 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 porcelain piece here is bigger than the opening i'm being afforded here so i'm going to turn this off for a second and figure out what to do thank you okay so just finishing up the last piece of the propane install um i did attempt this once already and i had a bag that didn't fit because it had a wire like a quick clip and didn't fit perfectly tight. Um, there's a porcelain connector here for the bag. It's a little larger probably than the Coleman lanterns. So I did need to buy the old string type. I found those at Walmart and uh, tied that on with the string. It was a pain in the butt, but I got that on there. The other thing I thought about was the first time I tried this, I did not light the bag, um, the mantle on fire first to kind of get it to this this um the, the ash that it is now so uh it didn't fit properly i didn't burn the bag turned it on lit it up and it was kind of a mess so this time got the right bag fitting on there it's already burnt um, i have the propane on outside propane's working inside as you saw just earlier so i'm going to turn this on very slowly here and i can hear it so let's see if this works That is probably the way it's supposed to work. That was cool. That was the first time I just did that. So this is the little globe that fits on it. Let's put that on very delicately. That fits like that. So now I think you can adjust the brightness or not. <laughs> the flame's coming out the top. Yeah, so I'm just turning it really, I'm just turning it down. Um, There's a little heat shield here. You can definitely feel the heat. If I have to figure out the furnace in another episode, but um, if not, this, this could work. But um, that's the way to do it. You need to light that mantle first. It's, it's working perfectly. Very cool. So anyway, so that's the end of the propane. Tanks, regulators, new hoses, all hooked up. Stove is working, light is working. Um, probably not gonna bake too many cakes. I don't care about that. I do have to look at the furnace at some point. So we'll see uh, if we can get that going. Um, other than that, that's it for now. Thanks.